In today's video, the sickening story of how this guy scored a ridiculous bargain when he picked up this 1986 Mitsubishi Lancer EX GSR 1800 Turbo. It's, it's frustrating. Damn it. Oh, this is amazing. What an amazing coincidence. Just driving around, mind my own business. Turbo Lancer 1800 GSR, this is incredible. Hell yeah, it's incredible. You could live your whole life here in Japan without ever seeing one, without too much effort at all. And yet when I saw it the day of shooting the video, I had seen it just a couple of weeks earlier at the first event back. Do you remember that one? The Mojiko Neo Classic event where there was that sliding door alto. Amazing. Damn, I'm just recalling again how much he paid for this car. Now just keep in mind that this car would cost, and there's one for sale right now in this condition, same spec, 1,600,000 yen, and I can't give that to you in your local currency because then I would have to say how much it would cost in every single currency on the planet, and I'm not doing that, but 1,600,000 yen, just keep that in mind and I'll tell you how much he paid for a little bit later, but for now let's get into the nitty gritty of this car. Yes, so the car is a 1986 Mitsubishi Lancer EX 1800 GSR Turbo as mentioned. And the one thing I just have to point out because there are some aficionados out there who are thinking what is up with that grill. Now here is a normal grill. It's sort of got four segments. You've got a silver background, you've got black riding and a double bar of black. But on today's feature car, it's inversed. Well, the riding of course, it's got silver riding, two silver bars on a black background, and then the grill is not segmented up into those four sections. The owner has done that himself because that's how he likes it. And it's really, really subtle, I've got to say. <laughs> now, you may or may not be surprised to learn that this car was in kind of untidy condition when he got the car, hence that price. However, the interior was in top nick, and that is something we're gonna check out right about now. But hey, those turbo seat belts want. Anyway, the interior is looking absolutely sweet. Four spoke steering wheel, I'm loving that a lot. That is cool. And just as mentioned, we got turbo on the freaking seat belts. Like, turbo seat belts. That is insane. But that is really, really nice in here, Lancer. And the back, turbo on the seat belts as well. Sweet. Really nice. Yep, kire, and that means beautiful, and that's what you say when you see a car that's tidy. You say it's beautiful. Which was not how it was when he first got the car. It was sourced from the mountains of Shimane Prefecture. Basically, he knew the previous owner, so he took the trip up there, had a look at it, offered him a very small amount of money. I'm talking like $300, 30,000 yen. And I think you'll agree that that is a staggeringly low figure. No surprise that it was rejected. A counter offer was made of 100,000 yen. Now, if you compare that to the figure I told you just a bit earlier, that's like less than 10%. He got a 90% discount for this car. Now, as I said, it wasn't in such great condition. He did have to clean out the fuel tank and I think he gave it a respray as well. So a lot of work has gone into the car, but you cannot deny that this is a fantastic looking car. It's come up beautifully. He did get it for a bargain. And the takeaway from this is you gotta know someone who knows someone. The Japanese, generally speaking, they're not interested in maximizing how much yen they get from a sale. They're interested in dealing with people who they know, known quantities. And if they sell a car for a couple of hundred bucks, they're probably gonna be happy because it's no hassle. They know who they're dealing with. And that's why it would be so hard to source cars and parts if you were to come to Japan, knock on someone's door. You're just gonna get disappointed even if you wave money in their face. Yes, and under the bonnet is Kire as well. And that engine is a four cylinder single overhead cam engine, 1795 cc's. Power output is 160 metric horsepower, aka 118 kilowatts. And yes, very Kire indeed. And you can see. Uh, some custom touches. He's added his own strut tower brace 
a bit of self-fabrication work right there. Very, very cool. And he has also relocated the battery to the trunk because the car is front heavy, meaning the back of the car gets swung out a bit. And I'm saying, hey, isn't that a bit of fun? And I guess not always. So there you go, an absolute score. And you know, good on the guy. He picked up a bargain, that's fantastic. I just wish this sort of thing would happen to me. That would be great. And the final thing to talk about is there will be a limited run of screen printed shirts of this fantastic Aussie Zoe Works design. I'm loving it. There's a whole story to it. There's going to be details and explanations about a few things because there's really a lot to talk about in another video. So do check it out when it pops up. And I do hope you consider picking up one of these limited run shirts. It really is something special. Everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell for notifications, etc, etc, etc. Say hello on the socials, etc, etc, etc. Love is all, and we'll see you next Saturday with another Wasabi Cars video. Goodbye.